Hey everyone's Dev here and welcome to NFL Pro Era 2 Overview. Why? Like, when did the first game release? It was, whoa, almost one year ago, or like they're off one week. <laughs> I was not necessarily keeping up with their news, though I would imagine it's just better to upgrade your first game. There were rare instances where like sequels to certain projects came out very shortly after, but most of the times they were actually upgrading stuff and this on the first glance it's quite the same. So NFL Pro Era 2 is a QB experience simulator game where you yet again step into the shoes of famous names of the American football world, compete against AI in career mode or with real life people in multiplayer. Even the description is quite confusing because literally what it says, there's gonna be a new weather, new multiplayer, new coach like features, updated career mode, updated audio, but like normally phrases like that are used in patch notes but this is a separate release so what's even the point if they're blatantly saying that in your face <laughs> aside from that just looking at the trailer and screenshots main menu same thing locker same thing the field looks i think a little bit different i see some actual shadows and yeah like the seeding or the environment seems more realistic so i don't know like i have never been into the sports gaming genre where apparently it's it's very normal to be releasing the same game but with incremental upgrades each year. So specifically to me this seems weird but maybe it's just the way it is. <laughs> Problem is I literally don't see the reason why you would not just you know update the engines and work on your first title that already has a spread on the store because then you're introducing the second thing which just kills off the other one and you need to get the second one like that's I guess marketing ploy. <laughs> we'll have to see I guess the only hope this year is that the recording will actually push through and not fail me but like going into it already is just <laughs> very awkward to say the least. <laughs> Let's go back on court. You know how can I tell that it's the same game? Because it has the same audio issues. <laughs> First of all, pardon for my voice, I'm still in the middle of the sickness, but I'm recording here. <laughs> this released out of nowhere when I was yesterday at home, it was pretty much just rescheduled because it was delayed and then no one heard from it since and then just sudden drop on the store. <laughs> like, it just seems to be banned a catastrophe here. <laughs> So overall, I wouldn't say this is a sequel. This is a refreshed version of the first game that released last year. How can I tell? There are certain mechanics and just features literally copy pasted here. The only thing that was different was the intro part of like going through the tunnel and choosing your head with a refreshed look in the main menu category but that's essentially it. I have to say I feel like I felt more comfortable being on the field and playing around. Of course I didn't understand much per usual but it was nice to be running around the players and interact with them, throw the balls. Granted the whole stadium looks a little bit low quality if you go into the tribunes and just the little details in the environment. Definitely it doesn't look like the trailers, but that was to be expected. I suppose it depends on the devs' politics or their philosophy, because I would not call it a second game. It's definitely following this sports gaming trend where a refresh in the roster and some newly added logos to the outfits just change the game apparently. So I'm not keen on supporting that idea, but either way I'm not into football at all. So it's safe to say I'm not interested by it by any means. <laughs> Very much looking forward to doing the outros like that every single year now I guess if they keep doing that. And I'm just ready to move on to other um, ambitious projects. <laughs> See you around!